we've got a kids party coming up and I was asked to make a, a game for adults or kids alike, whoever wants to play. So, back when I was a kid, long, long time ago, I used to have a game with a, a cylinder at the bottom and like mesh on top and you, you would have all spikes through it and this would be full of balls and you had to pull a spike out without the balls dropping down into the tin. So I'm going to go along the same lines as that. That was a bit of fun, anyone can play, doesn't matter how old you are. Uh, got to go a little bit bigger. Get a tin, I got mesh. Uh, I'm thinking of using dowel, haven't got the dowel yet, but that's totally irrelevant. I've got mesh that I'll take it. Take whatever we want to take. Uh, I'll cut a, the mesh will go from the here up. I'm just going to electrical tie it to the bottom. And I'll cut a, like a, something out like that. So we can get our hands in and get the balls out once they drop down. So, it should be nice and simple. It shouldn't take long. It might be a bit of fun. First off, get the handle off. Let's get rid of that. Now this will be painted, so it doesn't really matter where we draw. Just want a bit neater circle to follow. corner so we can get the jigsaw in.
that's generally the generally what we want. It's gonna track around. We got a there's like a nice two two hole overlap. Now I'll have it sitting and be up there on the bucket. Come down to that bottom lip. That'll keep it nice and square. Yeah, how tall do we want it? This bottom edge feels pretty good. That's the original edge. The top edge is a bit blurry. So what we'll have, I've got a bit of hose. I'll put a slot down. We'll poke him down over there. Electrical tie, and that'll all look really neat. Keep those burrs away. Um, burrs we did here, we'll just have to touch them up with a bit of with a file. top and that'll be the game. So I'm just going to electrical tie straight through and that'll hold this on. So we'll get that done now. electrical ties off and then the next job will be the blue hose around the top check these sharp edges from little kids fingers so I'll cut these off first
now we got the length. The length is about the right length. Alright, so that'll do the job. See how this wants to sit like that. So you'd be silly to cut it around the inside edge and have to twist it to make it sit. It sits like that. So let's put our cut straight around that edge. And you won't be forcing the hose to sit on the top. You'll just want to sit there. That's pretty good. Alright, trim these off. Alright, for the dowels, I've used fluted dowel, same price as the other dowel, except for if they get sick of the game, I can use it as wooden dowels. So, just a thought. Never know. Now, 30 dowels, 400 mil long. So that's just a test. See how it holds the balls. These are nice, soft balls. Let's hope they go in the hole. So that's roughly what it's going to look like. And then people, people's job is to pull out dowels that don't make bowls fall. And then eventually you're going to pull one out that, ugh, oh, drop one. Nice and easy to get. You own that ball. You've got to, it's the one with the least amount of balls. See, another one going. So this should be good. That's a general idea of the game. For you adults out there, you could write things on some of the balls, say all the yellow ones. Drink a beer. This game could turn into anything. I like this. Didn't cost much. Should get a bit of fun out of it. Bit of garden hose around the top. A few electrical ties. Uh, these are just mayonnaise containers. You can pick them up from restaurants, stuff like that. They'll probably give them to you. So, uh, nice and simple. Try to have a bit of fun with it. So, I'll paint it up. Might put a little face on it. Something nice. And take some photos for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.